Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. Today's tour review is going to be for a writing utensil. It's another Pika product. I'm a big fan of the Pika pencils. Uh, even though I've talked about the Holta 4s being my favorite one last year, I still have a lot of Pika 3030s, and I absolutely love these as well. These are some of the ones that I use the most just because I already have a bunch of them. But I also, I prefer the Holta 4s, but these are a good, good way to go. I see these in loadouts all the time, so I know these are well known to people. Well, I came across this one. It was the Pika Pocket or Pocket Quiver Pocket Blade. Uh, you can see it's the Quiver Plus Blade. It's the 505. The packaging that I got with it actually says it's the 505 uh, slash 02 on there. So, but this is in another. Maybe that's because it's looks like everything on here is in a different language. I got it through Amazon. It's going to run you $16, and it is nothing like what I expected it to be. So. I'm probably not going to end up using it that much because it's not what I expected it to be, but I thought this might be something that some of you might like. So I'm going to go ahead and share it with you because it's really just ginormous in my opinion. That's the real thing about it. I mean, you look at this pencil right here. I mean, who writes with a pencil that big in like a construction mode of working on a job site or something like that? I don't know. It's just really big. I think overall, if I remember right, it's like nine and a half inches or something like that yeah it's right around nine and a half inches for this pencil uh, and then this quiver blade itself is closer to eight probably like seven and three quarter uh, so it's just overly big you know i thought well you can just put this in your shirt pocket based on the picture pants pocket maybe you want to put it in a tool pouch but it's not going to work anywhere really except for your pants pocket you can see this tool pouch if i put it in there and i wanted to use a regular pencil i mean that's just not going to work so i'll show you what i'm probably going to end up doing with it is cutting it down to where it will fit right in that area and cutting in the cutting the sharpener off of it because i'll show you why again here in a minute with that as well but basically what this is is it's a pika holster maybe you're not a fan of mechanical pencils and you don't like using these but you wouldn't mind having something in your pocket all the time to hold your pencil to make it easy to get in and out so you're not just throwing your whole pencil in your pocket reaching your hand around in your pocket every time to get it out because again it works with the pencils that they uh, provide with it the 541s i guess this just slides in really smooth action you kind of have this little bumper here to kind of make you locate it in the right spot but ultimately there's a little bent piece of metal i don't know if i can kind of get that shown in there you might can see it down in there it's kind of just like a little flap that's putting the pressure on the pencil to hold it in place to make it not come in and out unless you basically grab it. So I wouldn't buy these. Again, that's just a weird pencil in my opinion to use. Uh, but a lot of you like to use these carpenter pencils. Uh, I used to use these all the time. I've kind of gotten away from them once I started using the Picas and especially now that I got the Holta 4, that's more of that carpenter pencil shape. So if you really like using carpenter pencils because of the shape, and you've not really been a fan of the 3030s, uh, you might want to give the Holta 4 a try. But again, this is something for you guys out there that still use these pencils all the time, and I don't blame you. You go in Lowe's and Home Depot, they throw them at you, they give them to you for free sometimes, or you go into a painter store, they've got them. You can take these pencils just the same as that one that comes with it. It slides in and out basically that same way, holds tension on it uh, to where you can have that easily accessible outside your pocket and give you a little quiver basically to put your pencil in and out it does a pretty good job as you can see here put the quiver in my pocket and then i can take that pencil in and out multiple times the quiver doesn't pull out with it that pencil goes in and out fairly easy uh, it's not a big deal to use that so again that's what i think this is for it's not what i expected to be you know i don't know that very many of you are going to want it but i thought i'd go ahead and share it with you uh, again, it's something that's available for if you're a big fan of wooden carpenter pencils, uh, you can use that. Or uh, for whatever reason, if you want to use the pen or something like that, it needs to have something smooth. You can still use any other writing utensil, uh, but the thinner it gets, it kind of goes off to the side sometimes and doesn't really locate right. Because I thought, well, the regular pencils, I've got a billion of those. You could use those as well. And if you put them down the middle, it's too much slop. It doesn't, it doesn't really catch it. Uh, but if you put it off here to the side, then it will hold it. So, But who wants to sit there and make sure you guide your pencil in just right every time to make sure you do that? So to me, it's really only useful for carpenter pencils or the pencil that comes with it. If you wanted to buy more of those, uh, you could do that as well. Now, besides just the pencil and the quiver, you can see it also has a sharpener down here. And it's got a built-in kind of ledge to make it to where you... You could cut yourself if you wanted to, but it's not going to cut anything in your pocket. But I'll just be honest with you up front. 
it doesn't work all that great, but basically you take your pencil, you just sit there and keep going over it like this, but you have to be at just the right angle. Uh, you know, you gotta sit there and spend a whole lot of time to do it. Will it do it? Yes. Take some time to get used to what that angle is because if I'm just at a little bit of the wrong angle, angle it just goes over top of it, doesn't take anything off. I gotta make sure I go right at it. And I would literally spend probably uh, at least two minutes or so to get this pencil in the shape that I would want it to be. I'm never going to do that with this. It just takes way too much time. I'm always just going to grab a pocket knife out of my pocket and just take off big chunks like that. It takes a matter of two seconds instead of, you know, two minutes. That's the way that you're going to go. So again, that's why to me, I'm going to, the only way that I will end up using this is if I make it to where it will work in a shirt pocket or into my tool pouch pocket. So what I'm going to do is figure out what that height is there. I'm going to cut this off and then get rid of that sharpener and my bottom will just be open because really most carpenter pencils aren't going to go down all the way past all that anyways. You're only going to get in so far right there is as tight as it will go. If I put my thumb on that, pull that out and stick that there, really my pencil is only going down to this point anyway, so I don't really need this. So that's what I'm going to do with it. Again, it's not really what I expected. Uh, I don't think it's really something that's for everybody but it may very well be for you so i thought i'd go ahead and share it with you but let me know in the comments below if you have this and you've been using it maybe you love it uh, tell us what kind of pencils you use in it that would probably be helpful to people that are interested in buying it to know that so that they have the option to get those pencils as well or again let me know if you use something else for your marking besides maybe a pika or a Hulta 4. Those two are my favorite two at the moment, but I'm always interested to see what you guys are using out there. But hope it was useful. Uh, let me know in the comments below. But as always, stay safe. Have a blessed day. See you on the next video.